This is a real muscle plane, metal mayhem. You can see it's riveted together. No, <laughs> it's not riveted together, but it is tough. It's a very tough, very fast plane. John Collins here, world record holder from 2012 to 2022. Yeah, for 10 years, I was the best in the world for distance. And this plane is a real muscle plane. It's short, it's stubby, it's fast, it's tough. It is quite an aircraft and I'm going to show you how to make this guy. You uh, use this page in the book and of course you're going to cut out, uh, cut away all of that white border and you're going to come up with something that looks just like this and you're going to want to start with the number one on top. Um, uh, looks like a lot of wasted paper here but don't worry about that. <laughs> this thing flies like a banshee. Here we go. Uh, going right here for fold number one and as you move this over of course you're going to see uh, the flip side guide is going to show up right there and that is right where you want that fold to go. So you want just a tiny bit of that white showing and once you got that uh, and you can also you can see fold number three is going to be there. You can you can fudge it over a little bit and line those lines up and make sure that you're not too far from the flip side guide uh, or just do, you could just just use the flip side guide. It can be a little bit off like that because of printing errors and stuff. So I'm going to just let it be off and we'll see what happens. I think it's, it's better to use that flip side guide than not. You can fudge back just a tiny bit, but not much. I still want to see that white line there. All right, number two, here we go. There's our, our uh, front side guide. And we're going to get this going over to the flip side guide. And there we go. Pretty straight, pretty clean. Get that done. Yeah, sometimes you just get a little bit of the printing, you know, on the front and back. You know, the machines are only so accurate. All right, number three. Obviously, we're going to go down here like this. And, you know, you can see the discontinuity. The line's a little bit broken there. Don't sweat that. Uh, you'll, we'll make it up in the uh, flip side guide mode here. There we go. That thing is straight as an arrow. And, yeah, that's coming out nice. There we go. Perfect. All right, fold number four. Let's see what happens. We've got a nice straight line there. We're coming over on step number four. And I really, I recommend uh, kind of following along in the book uh, sometimes when you're watching these videos. Uh, just kind of see what's happening with the book. And you can, the book is a nice refresher actually. You know, that's kind of your shortcut. After you do the video a couple times, you'll be able to buzz right through these designs. They're, they're really um, just made to be uh, easy to fold. Um, all right, so there we go. Uh, fold number five, this whole top is going to come all the way down here. So keep this nose lined up with this white line as we get number five going here. You'll see that flip side guide real clearly right there. And the nose is just, uh, it's ending up just a tiny bit past the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and go with that. It looks so good. Everything else is lining up so nicely. All right, so that's uh, fold number five down like that fold number six is going to come up here and flip side guide right there and of course we got a flip over right there you can see a tiny one <laughs> let's flip it over and sure enough there's fold number seven it's going to come over this way and that gets us ready to make fold number eight which is going to be right down the center here's fold number eight so i'm going to swing this around just to make the folding just a little bit easier to get to number eight. That's going to write down the center. And of course, with all paper airplanes, these single layer corners, those are the ones you want to pay attention to as you're folding the plane in half. So we're going to bring this up, try to get one corner right on top of the other, and be mindful of this flip side guide. You should That should be pretty close to the center of the plane there. That's looking pretty good. Two more folds, and we've almost got this pocket rocket completed here. <laughs> and this has got a little bit of a bubble there, so I'm going to do a sweep up and out, just sweeping away from the center of the plane. I'm going to flip it over, make sure that this wing is good too. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my crease for the wing here. That's fold number nine, and we're just going to follow this big line here. And basically you're taking this edge and moving it down to line up with the center crease. So you'll see when you start moving it over, that lines up at about the same time you run into the flip side guide. So you can see that it's right there. That's pretty good. I'm going to flip it over and make the other wing match. 
that's the most important thing. Get this corner right on top of that corner. As you're looking at the flip side guide and the edges lining up, just try to get one corner on top of the other corner as well. And the flip side guide's right there, just a tiny sliver of white right down the, the plane. And that's it. That's the whole folding for this guy. And this thing is a rocket ship. It's just so much fun. <laughs> I can't guarantee you'll set any distance records, but boy, is this thing a bullet when you throw it. It's really fun. So hold on to it right here to set your dihedral angle, which is the angle the, the wings are leaving the body of the plane. It's always important to have a little bit of upward sweep. So if you hold on to the thick part right here, and then just a couple of thumb widths back from the nose, we're just going to start lifting the wings up, and we're going to lift and pinch. Lifting and pinching so that when the top of those wings just touch, then we're going to let go. And now you see we've got some, some upward sweep to those wings. And that's going to help the plane stay straight and level. And I would give it a couple of throws before you start mixing in up elevator. You know, right here is where you would make a little upward bend if the nose needs to come up. And you'll know right away. I mean, you might need a little bit. Uh, I, I, you know, I always just start with just a, just a tiny bit. Um, and you, nowhere near that whole oval shape, you know, maybe like a quarter of that to start with. So a little uh, uh, positive dihedral, a little upward sweep there to the wings, a little upward bend right there where those little white ovals are. And then if you need right-left adjustment, if your plane is turning, you can always adjust it right here. Always bend both of these guys together. Uh, you know, if it needs to turn to the right, give it a little bend to the right here. If, it, if you want it to turn left, give it a little bend like that. So, for instance, if your plane is turning left, you would want to steer it back to the right by making a right bend right there. Just I'm just as you're looking at the back of the plane, I'm bending it to the right that direction. So that would make the turn, make the plane come back to the right and fly straight. So I'm going to straighten that out right now. I'll show you what it looks like in the air here. Oops, that's the wrong plane. This is the right plane. <laughs> uh, so here's what it looks like. It is really a fast, accurate, fun plane to fly. Rivets don't lie. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> metal mayhem. I guarantee you're going to have some metal mayhem, no doubt about it.